Hello everyone and welcome to Muncher Movies. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit subscribe so you can keep up with this madness that has been Avengers Endgame. Before we proceed, I would like to remind everyone who hasn't seen the movie that this video will obviously be riddled with spoilers, so proceed with caution. Today we're going to be talking about the sad demise and timely reappearance of Gamora between Avengers Infinity War and Endgame. When we last left Gamora in Infinity War, she went from laughing at Thanos for not loving anyone to realizing that he loved her and she was about to become his human sacrifice to acquire the Soul Stone. In modern world, we call this murder, but potato potato. Her death had many repercussions. Thanos got the Soul Stone, but even more important was Star-Lord's reaction to finding out. Almost had him. My Gamora. Anyway, you know the rest. Wakanda should have gone for the head. Snap. Which brings us to Endgame. Once again, major spoiler in 3, 2, 1. Time travel. We already discussed different types of time travel in our previous video, which you can check out on the top right. Endgame goes with many worlds version of time travel, which means meeting yourself in the past simply splits the past into a new timeline altogether. We get to see Thanos' adventure circa 2014 alongside his two favorite daughters, Nebula and Gamora. Future Nebula goes back in time to 2014 to acquire the Power Stone from when Star-Lord was after it in the opening scene of Guardians of the Galaxy. Due to some deep level linking between the past and future Nebula, Thanos ends up finding out what happened during the events of Infinity War and Endgame up until that point. So, he captures future Nebula and sends the Nebula from his timeline, who is still faithful to him, in her place to 2024, posing as future Nebula. Confusing, I know, I know. Once there, she works her bionic magic on the Quantum Realm time portal and transports Thanos, his ship, his army, and his Gamora from 2014 to present time, which is the year 2024. In the meanwhile, Gamora gets to spend some time with the future Nebula and realizes who she is on the path to becoming. She's about to meet the Guardians in her timeline, escape from Thanos, and also live out her true destiny of dying for the Soul Stone. She sees that Thanos completes his plan to gather the stones and do the snap, and she's worried, just like she was in Infinity War. This is when the confrontation between both Nebulas and Gamora happens, where future Nebula ends up killing 2014 Nebula, which obviously has no effect on future Nebula because of the time travel rules followed in this movie. And once the boss battle ensues, we see Gamora fighting with the Avengers to defeat her daddy. The real question is, why don't we see Gamora after the fight, during Iron Man's funeral? Or on the ship with the Guardians when they finally get ready to go back to their space adventures with Big Belly Thor? Does she die in the battle? Unlikely since we're sure the Russo brothers would make that clear in the film. We also briefly see Star-Lord running a search for Gamora on a screen, implying that she's still alive and out there. If that's the case, why does Gamora vanish after the battle? Could it be that she needs time to get adjusted to life in the future? Well, technically she has skipped 10 years of her life, and without ever meeting the Guardians up until that point, she doesn't really have any connection with them. So there's no need for her to be part of the newly formed as Guardians of the Galaxy, even though her sister is there. We're pretty sure she's alive, probably still reeling from what she has gone through. And given what we know of Gamora from 2014 and the events of the first Guardians movie, she's definitely more distrustful and reserved than any version of Gamora we know. So it's only right for her to adjust to life in the future and find her own way. So do you guys think she'll be a big part of Guardians 3? Which, if we believe Endgame, could be called as Guardians of the Galaxy? Or will she have the same reaction to it that she had to meeting future Quill? Let us know in the comments below and what you would like for us to break down next. We will be releasing an in-depth breakdown of Avengers Endgame later this week, so stay tuned for that. Until next time.